Hi, this is Brian Shepard with the closing print, and happy Friday to everybody. Thank God. Um, you know, it was another so-so uh, round of earnings at post close yesterday and uh, this morning. Uh, we also had overnight, uh, you know, everybody's heard this, Japan was down uh, 3%. You know, that put a little bit of a weight on uh, the global equities to start with. So the S&P's gapped open uh, six handles lower. Uh, you know, I think the opening range, I shouldn't say I think, the opening range was like the 1676 area. Uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot going on early. University of Michigan sentiment came out, we rallied up to like 1680 area uh, and lost the bid and slowly uh, faded back down to day low, um, 1670 half. There's some noise going on. We're now just making new daily highs, so we printed a low of 16.70 half, and throughout the afternoon, from noon on, it's just been a steady churn, it's trending higher, stepping a series of higher highs and lower low, lower, I'm sorry, a series of higher highs and higher lows, stepping higher. Um, you know, the MOC uh, showed 487 million, 478 million to the buy side. Uh, you know, and I think that influences a bit because, you know, we've, again, instead of turning back late Friday in front of a weekend and uh, risk on, risk off, it showed that there's still money being put out here. Uh, we'll have some figures for you on, uh, you know, the inflows, outflows, uh, you know, and the commentary of this. But, you know, what we're looking at now is a setup for the macro stuff from next week. You know, we talked about this. Uh, you know, we have the Bank of England, we have the ECB, we have the FOMC decisions all next week. We have final PMI reads. Uh, you know, we have some housing numbers on Monday, I believe it is. So, again, last week's high is, you know, was the target, I guess, for the bulls here. 1680, uh, I shouldn't say last week's high, last week's settlement was 1689 half. Currently, we just made this high, a new high of 1687.10. So it, it looks like they might be a little bit shy of that. Last I saw, the Dow was pretty much at, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was pretty much at unchanged. Um, you know, and they were fought back from 100, nearly 150 uh, points down. And the transports were, you know, not as heavy as the Dow earlier. The NASDAQ also was not as heavy as the broader market. So I think those two in the Russell helped to bring this back up and, and get us into the green here in the, uh, at the close of the day. Anyways, everybody have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.